All right, so what I want to do is I wanted to create a uh, vibration table. Get some of this, these screws here. If I put these screws here on the table here. So I took a, my orbital sander and I put a little CD case underneath it, plastic, and tied it down so it won't go anywhere. And when you turn it off, I think that should work. Okay, so we're going to try to get this started. I got my materials here, got the table all set up, and we're going to try to do this uh, Mold Max. Uh, too bright right there. We're going to try to do that. This uh, Mold Max uh, 27T, which is uh, has the viscosity of cake batter. <sighs> One idea I had was to use something like this to pour the material in and use the weight into the mold. The problem with that is that I don't think the hole is big enough. About it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to work that out. One idea I had is to take the mold apart and setting some material in here to get down into the little holes there and then set it down in here also to get into it, its little holes. Slapping it together and pouring, pouring some more material down there. My problem is that the, in order to get a nice funnel in there, and this one I'll cut a little bit more. All right, pretty big hole there. Let's cut a little bit more here. I got my part. A, my part B, and my accelerator. I think I'm not going to use the accelerator when I'm trying to do the uh, core here. I'm trying to figure out what this, how much material this is going to be. I'm going to try for 24 ounces again. What I need to do also is to weigh this. Zero out that. Now, we have 953 grams. Basically, I'm going to use these sticks here, little pieces of these sticks, you can say. Bring in the material. So what I'm going for is a, is a kind of a tan color, a drop of yellow, a drop of flesh. Now we are going to stir. I got this. Uh, I got this sort of fan blade stirrer to hopefully not get so much bubbles in it. So let's try this. Take it off the uh, scale. Here. Mark that. 
you need is 95 grams. 95. Now, we have a bunch of bubbles in here, so what I'm going to try to do is try to shake this out. So I'm going to try to put it on this table right here. See that? Yeah. And I'm going to try to turn on this. Alright, that's not really doing very much. So, what I'm going to try to do next is I'm going to try to use my, uh, a vacuum chamber. This is my homemade vacuum chamber. Uh, what it does is it uses air, it uses air to, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down in this can. I'll show you that. This uh, bucket, I got reinforced it with a metal pan, and I'm just going to place this down inside here, and then put the lid on. And I'm going to try to suck all the air out of there. As we hook up this air, my air compressor, up to this guy, and it's going to suck the air out of this guy. And Hopefully that will, and then I'll have a, a little bit of release valve to, uh, to work with it. Uh, this will be an interesting experiment. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is do this. Cut off most of it. Good try. Find out we can pour this. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. not doing anything else. Still has a certain amount of viscosity. So uh, I think that uh, that's all that's going to go in there. And I'm going to let that sit for 24 hours. One eternity later. So it's been more than 24 hours. If you do, if you do molds, under 65 degrees, they don't recommend that. So, uh, not sure this is even going to turn out.
pieces of the mold. feel to it, but it didn't fill in all the holes. There's a lot of bubbles in it. Part of the mold's been broken. So I think what I'm going to try to do job of cleaning out this previous mold. This is the end result. Bits and pieces of the uh, of the mold was came off on the casting. It's got a nice feel to it, but there's clearly bubbles right here, here, here. Oh, there's another piece that got torn off. Not happy about that. Not happy at all. Oh well. Remember to like and subscribe. See ya.